Hey everyone, I'm going to be talking about root words with you today. So you probably know what a root word is, but never really paid too much attention to it or understood the actual definition or knew what you were looking at whenever you saw one. So we're going to be focusing on the root words photo, odd, and vis today. I'm going to read with you those first little instructions so we get a little bit of a better understanding of what a root word is or what these root words are. The word photocopy contains a root that has Greek origins. The meaning of the root photo is light. So, what's an example that we can think of of a word that has photo and has something to do with light? Well, I'm going to write on my sticky note right here. Can you see that? And I'll move it whenever we get to viz. But we have photography. Because sometimes there's a flash with the camera, so we can think about that. And I'm going to underline photo. And we have, whoops, there we go. And we have photograph. Here's a couple examples. The second one is the word audiologist, I think that's how you pronounce it, contains a root that has Latin origins. The meaning of their root odd is here. So for example, the underline photo, we have audible, which can be like someone reading a book to you. It's audible, you hear it. And we even have audition. Okay, the last one is the word television it contains a root that has the Latin origins. The meaning of the root viz is C. So for viz, we can do visual. Some of you may be visual learners or invisible. I think that would be a cool superpower to have one day, to be invisible, that you can know what everyone is doing all the time, huh? So I'm going to move this down a little bit. Each of these, well, I'll move that down a whole bunch. Each of these, is something that you can write into here. Now, they have four lines because it says complete the chart with other words that contain the roots photo, odd, and viz. So if I give you two of each, I'm sure you can think of at least one more of each. So let's try and make that a goal to at least find one or two more of each of these words, or each of these root words. Now, I'm gonna scoot the page up just a little bit so you can look at the bottom. Choose one word from each category and use it in a sentence. So, the way that you're going to do that is you're going to find photo and how I have photography. I may make a sentence with the word photography in it. So, my sister loves to take photography class in high school. So, there's one. I'll write that down on this sticky note. So, my sister loves to take photography and I'm going to underline photo class at the high school. So there's just one example of photography, but I'm sure you can, guys can think of many more that you can use at that route instead. And then you're going to do one for odd and another one for viz. So this worksheet is pretty set in stone. Just do what you can. And if you need help or if you can't think of any more words, maybe pull out a dictionary and see if you can find any. Or if you need help from Miss Fanta or myself, then feel free to message us in the chat box. Or if your parents need a class dojo us, then they can do that as well. But we will see you soon, and I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye!